Hello and welcome to part of this topic setting up enhanced role of security for the reports. I am Abhijit Tilly from Smart Reporting Development Team. In the first part we have seen how default security works and what is the option available in Smart Reporting to add an extra layer of security for data restriction purpose. In this part we will implement support group level security by using scheduled SQL query option and attach the source filter to incident management view which will enforce support group level security to all the reports created in Smart Reporting. Let's get started. I am at the admin console in Smart Reporting. Expand data source and click on Air System. Select source filter as yes. Go to step number 2 which is the filter section. Click on add. Select scheduled SQL query and click on next. Now provide some meaningful description for the filter like support group. Now I will use already created filter in last session that is support group and here we need to write down the query which will give me the required result set for my filters. Please note this is not a native SQL query, it is a ARGDBC compliant query. I have already created a query, so I'll just quickly explain what this query returns. This query will give me the remedy login ID and the corresponding support group from the AR forms. So the first form will give me the remedy login ID and I have appended at the rate BMC as my suffix which will be compliant with my smart reporting username and the second form will be, will give me the support group name. The first column is a user ID, its identifier type and the third column is a support group which is a filter type. Please make sure when you write down the query you will give the exact same name that you are defined for the support group filter type. I will paste this query in the query box and I will click on test query. As you can see it gives me the result and the login ID will be Ellen at BMC and their corresponding support group from the remedy. Now validate the list and if it looks ok to you uh, we can proceed further. Next step is we need to schedule this query for the refresh. So for now I will schedule it for monthly. I don't want this query to run on frequent basis. Click on save. Now we cannot use this filter right away because it does not contain any value right now. So to make it available we need to refresh this filter manually for the first time so that value gets populated. Click on the link refresh filter now and you can see the filter list has available with some values. Now click on save. Go to step number 1 and save the data source. Now we have our data source configured with the source filter. Now we need to map this source filter with a specific view field so that security can get enforced for the reports created on top of it. So we'll use incident management view for this example. Open incident management view in edit mode. The only condition here is we need to have this field already available in the view. So we have out of the box field available assigned group where it can be mapped. Double click on assigned group and go to access tab of it. You can see access filter section and there is a drop down. If you see in the drop down, we have the support group as access filter available. Select support group and save it. Now go to step number 3. Here you can decide whether this filter has to be applied by default on all the reports or not. So I will check that box as yes for now. and. Go to step number 4 and activate this view. Now let's check the output of the report that we created for the demo purpose, incident by company and assign group. If you observe the output now, you can see it's not only really restricted data at a company but also at support group level. Currently Alan has logged in, so we'll quickly check the support group association in Remedy. I'm in a CTM people form. I check for user Alan. And if you see the support group association, you can see Alan belongs to three support group. And in the report, you can only see the data for those support group. But there might be cases when some user needs to bypass this security. So there is a provision available for this. When you open the report in edit mode, you can see the source filter section and you have the option to enable or disable the source filters. 
and this provision is nothing but a role permission that user should have it in his role then only he can able to override the security while creating a custom role you can find this permission under report builder section with description as access filters out of the box only administrators and corporate directors can override source filter security i hope you find this video useful thank you for taking time and watching this video